Now that we understand the differences with user needs, let's look at exactly what types of research we're talking about. Take a few seconds to imagine this user. We've just described both of these men. As you can now see, the outcome of market research can often be misleading. Market research definitely has its value, but we also need to really understand the people using our services. Because market research tells you what people say, but not their true behaviour. It tells you what people will buy, but not how they will use the product or service, or if they would use it at all. Market research captures large sample sizes, but the insights are usually not deep enough for you to understand the whys. We will be focusing on an in-depth interview research method today, but we also want to give you a brief overview of some other common types of research that help you understand users' needs, goals and motivations, some of which you may be more familiar with. The first research method is Service Safari. This means going through a service like a user to experience it from a user perspective, to help you understand the service. This will help you avoid making assumptions and understand the service from the user's perspective. Another method is usability testing. This method involves testing your design directly with the user. Surveys are commonly used to gather large numbers of responses quickly, but are hard to get rich responses, meaning not getting into the why. As the name suggests, shadowing or contextual inquiry involves shadowing your client. This method allows you to witness something you may never think to ask to gain rich understanding of user motivation and to capture the real behaviour rather than what they say they do. Lastly, diary study. It is a self-reported journal at regular intervals to create a log of activities, thoughts and frustrations about the topic being studied. This concludes the overview of design thinking processes and human-centred design approach. Next, we would love you to have a hands-on experience of what you've learnt so far.